Hello ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. My name is Asparagus Jenny and this is this war of mine. This is this war of mine. It always sounds strange. Boris went out and gathered a few more mats from that place where we have been in the previous night. So I suppose we're not going to come back to that house anymore. It will depend. It will depend on what exactly we need. So that night, this night was calm. We were still not attacked. I predict we're going to start being attacked this night. So let's see. They are starting to be hungry. I'm hungry and tired. Katya is th slept poorly. I guess I forgot to put Katya to bed last night. Let's see. Boris is also tired. He needs some rest. Let's put him on the chair. I'm not exactly sure if that affects the tiredness of them. And there's nothing else I could or I can pick up on my house. I've picked pretty much everything. So what I'm gonna do from this point on, like in any other this war of mine playthrough, I'm gonna try to improve the conditions in my house and also get some more tools. Let me see if I can get the knife because I remember I brought some weapon parts. Yes, I can make the first weapon. Some would say it's a waste creating this knife, this first weapon. I say it, I'm better off with a knife than with nothing. Truth is, I'm not sure if the knife is better as a weapon than the crowbar or the shovel. Let's make it because Katya has to spend her time doing something and not remember the terribles, terribles times outside where people are being shot. The war is happening and our world is being destroyed. I actually never really carefully watched the background in detail. It really looks cool. All the city smoking. That's pretty cool. A lot of people commented about me choosing the wrong characters. Guys, let's make one thing very, very, very clear. Although I'm trying to survive and be successful on the game, obviously, I still want to have fun. And I don't care who are the best characters. I don't care if Pavle is the best ever. I don't care if the Markov, I think his name was, is good on melee combat. I don't care. I actually thought Boris was the chef, and that's why I picked him. It's not, but either way, he still can carry a lot of stuff, so I like him the same way. I chose Katya to be my girlfriend, and I chose myself because this is my own war. So those are my decisions. I don't care if there are any better decisions. I just woke up, so I'm not tired anymore, so we should probably put Boris to sleep now. So let's do that. Run, I know you're tired, but if you really want to sleep, you should run because we're halfway through the day. Let's see what else can we do. I have not been doing much. I only crafted a knife in this day. That is a pretty poor day. This guy really looks like me, from the back at least. And the beard. Really looks awesome. Alright. As I've said, I couldn't make the rainwater collector. I'm not entirely sure what's the correct order in which you should build stuff. I guess another bed is future proof if someone joins me. For the time being, I created a stuff on the last episode. So on this one, I'm gonna go with the rainwater collector. And then we're gonna start needing a lot of components, even more. Because I'm gonna use them for a filter to using the rainwater collector. So let's do that. Let's put it, let's see. Normally, if you focus sugar, if you focus making alcohol, you're gonna need at least two rainwater collectors. So I might want to make, I don't know, two of them over here. Sounds like a good plan. Or maybe over here. Can I place two over here? I think I can. So let's just place them over there. That will be the rainwater collector room. After this, I am going to need to make a filter. So let's make it right now with Katya. Being efficient. Compensating for the morning not being efficient at all. Because I was not efficient at all. Let's make two of them. Because I can't make more. Each one of them will uses two. Two, three components. So components, it's still a thing that I'm gonna need to bring tonight when I'm gonna go scavenge. Boris is sleeping, so he's gonna be the one because he will be replenished during the night. He's gonna be the one going out. I have six raw food and I don't want the thieves to get that food. Let's see if I can cook it. I, oh, I don't think you can cook as long as you have meals in the stove. 
So I'm gonna go out tonight and this is gonna be risky because I'm gonna leave six food in the fridge and I am probably Gonna be robbed. I have the knife. I'm gonna leave it here at the house And I'm gonna end the day so that whoever stays in guards can use that knife against the robbers so the last place we visited was the shell cottage and as you can see here there's really nothing much left there are some materials some weapons it says 71 percent scavenged i was actually expecting more but all right but i'm not gonna go there i want the full potential of a night of scavenge so i'm gonna keep moving to different places so boris is gonna be the one scavenging katya she slept poorly so she's gonna be the one to sleep in the bed and myself i always find just funny to say myself it's just so cool to see myself on the game i'm gonna guard the place i'm gonna be the one using the knife this block of flats has seen some heavy fighting this is not good the battle is over now and there should be many things left to scavenge because people were leaving in a rush Okay, apparently this is a low risk place, but there are there is here the looted gas station Which is a place I've never been into into this world of mine, and it's a new place in the game after the patch So to have a more different place to scavenge and to show you I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go there with Boris He was gonna sleep. No, you're not gonna sleep. Let's go there with Boris to the looted gas station I'm not sure what am I going to see or what I'm going to face. I guess it's a good idea. I always try to bring a shovel with me so that I can get in places that are behind the rubble. And then on the next night, if I see anything that uses the crowbar, I'll bring it as well on the second night. Looks like people add drain it dry. Okay, so there's not much to scavenge you mean. All right, let's take all of this. We need... A lot of components. Should we just run? I'm not sure if there's anyone out there. Boris is slow, but he's strong. I guess Boris should stay at the house more often because he can guard a place just fine. I'm not entirely sure if strong means he can carry more stuff or he can defend himself better. Probably means both of them, which is great. All right, I'm gonna keep bringing parts and weapon parts so that we in the future can make a weapon a pistol of some sort I am pretty sure I have some books books are useful to increase morale. Oh Here we go. I'm gonna use a shovel over here. Wonderful. I'm so glad I brought it Let's see. I don't see any red steps So this is the new place the gas station all ruined obviously the fire is still going which means we might have found an oil well We could still sell the gasoline and get money from that. That would be amazing. Who knows? But apparently it's not in the game Can only get money from jewelry and coffee if it is valuable Okay, so there isn't much in this place But as long as there are several places to scavenge, I think we can still bring a good bunch of stuff There is someone over there Either someone or some rat. Do I want herbs? Ah, let's leave the herbs behind. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what it says over here. Probably some more inscriptions from someone that left the city. There is a note under the table, not actually hidden, but it could be easily missed. From the style of handwriting, you can tell it was written by a woman in a hurry. How can you tell if it is written by a woman? That is strange. That is very strange if you ask me. Milos, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I could not wait any longer. I hid some jewelry inside the books. Look for them in the basement. Inside carton boxes behind the bare door. Use it. Stay alive. Please. God bless you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is something you should always do. Read these, in these in inscriptions because... Only after reading them, if they have good info, you're gonna have one more searchable place, if you know what I mean. Mat ingredients. I'm not gonna craft any mats for now. Let's see what's on the other side then. Anyone? No. Just freaking rats. And I cannot... Oh, I can unboard the place from over here. I thought it could only unboard from over to the left. So we should go to the basement and check that jewelry. 
so that we can bargain with a trader, which he should, he should show up to no today, I think. I think he always shows up on even days. I can confirm this, but I think that's how it rolls. Let's see, there's just anyone over here? Because I see also a mark over there. No, it's just more rats. Let's go down here first, and then let's go to the top. And let's search for that jewelry. It should be... Oh, a place to use the saw blade with. To bring those... Th that cell down. Alright, I need a lot of components. So, let's just throw away the sugar. Because we still have a lot of sugar. From the last episode, I think I brought a lot of sugar to my home. So, let's do that. What else? Again, you always want to stack. So let's stack the electric parts. Oh, that's a lot of food. All right, I am, I am gonna come here next night again. So I'm not too worried about what I'm gonna bring or not. So I'm just gonna leave here for now. The medications. I'm gonna bring all the food. Um, actually, today should be the day that I'm gonna eat. Because they will be very hungry. I think that's a good point at which you should give food to people. I think you can still wait for starvation, but come on. Let's play it nicely. I don't want my people to suffer. I don't want myself to suffer. I could not watch a freaking kitchen leg. Wink. Chicken leg, if you wanted to play it real. In front of me without eating it. If I'm starving, I cannot do that. I'm too hungry. So, I'm gonna eat those meals, and I'm gonna cook again, and I probably need some more vegetables. So, I'm gonna leave here the weapon parts, because I'm not gonna need them today. Oh my god, there's a body over there. This poor man had been caught by the shelling. What was he doing here? Hmm, is that a clue? I would have liked something like that in, in the game. Clues and more puzzling moments in the game, that would be cool. Only wood. We're not gonna pick that. We're not gonna replace that for anything on our backpack right now. Oh, there we go. Great. We can maximize these slots. I still need to maximize this one and and the vegetables. I'm not sure if this stacks to two or four. But I think I'm pretty happy with what we have. So let's just unboard this door if I can from this side. Yeah, I can. Pretty cool. I'm not checking who's on the other side. And there's some fire which could indicate people present, but... Nah. Not huge hopes. So let's just do this. I'm just basically trying to save time for the next night I'm gonna come here. Just unboarding places and whatnot. There's no other place to use the shovel with. I also gotta be careful with that. So that I bring something else on the next night. I could use the saw blade. And the saw blade uses weapon parts, doesn't it? And I'm not bringing them. Oh well, let's just skip that for now. And let's just leave the place. Boys, you've done good. Me and Katya have spent a nice evening. Thank you so much for that private moment. And let's go for day four. An even number. Hopefully the trader will show up. And I can sell some good stuff, or maybe not. Let's see if there was a calm night or not. I found plenty of real fine stuff. What a night. Boris is having fun. No. This night was calm. Nobody attacked. Which is kind of surprising to me. I guess because I increased the days the, the game is going to take to, you know, to finish. They're attacking later on. So Boris is tired. Let's put him to sleep. Katya is very hungry, so let's give her a meal. I should be very hungry as well. I should be starving by now. Because I'm a man. I'm a very manly man. And manly men eat a lot. Do they? I have no idea. Let's go over here. If there's one thing I want to do is updating or improving my workshop in order to make, for instance, the saw blade. But I don't have the required stuff. I need more components, I need more wood, and more parts. So let's see what else can we do. I'm still very hungry. I didn't eat. I was, you know, being a gentleman and letting Katya eat first. Katya has to eat because she might end up being pregnant in this adventure, if you know what I mean. All right, so we have eight. Let's see, what can we cook now? I would go for this, but we need more fuel. Ah, I don't want to burn any of this. Okay, let's burn some books. 
Let's leave one so that people can read to increase the morale. And let's burn the other two. Because I think books are good to increase your morale as long as you keep one. One is the bare minimum so that they can use it to increase morale. So I would have wanted to go for one more. Hello, kitties. Okay, before we even answer to these children, let me remind you that I'm playing an evil playthrough. I'm an evil person in here. I only care about myself, my father-in-law, and my girlfriend. So let's see what comes out of this. Katya has updated uh, her bio as well. I've been around more than any of my friends and relatives. I've met famous people, readers found my interviews funny and incisive. But when I try to write down my experiences, I'm stuck. I want to find and hug my folks, not write about them. I wish I had been seeing them more often. She's a coffee drinker. And she is freaking out, apparently. Alright. You know, I don't want to give Katya this very harsh quest or task to send the children away. Because I know something like that will happen. Our mom is sick. Please help us. I do have two medications. We live several blocks away from here. Our mom's very ill. She needs medications. Could you please spare any? With all your help, she will die. After daddy went to fight, we have only her. Please help us. Save her. We need two medications. No. Are you sure you can help me? Bugger off, kids. I've said I can't. Give me a second. No, I said no. Maybe later? Maybe later? No. They will come back if you say maybe later. So, no! You won't help me? I'm very disappointed. I have a keen eye for detail. And my keen eye told me those kids are actually thieves. Now I'm sad. Let's hope some other neighbor helps those kids get mad for their mother. Sparrow, you shouldn't behave like that. We are evil. Kids eat things, and we also need food. So, they're bad as well. I don't know if you noticed, but we have a temperature status over here, which tells us if we are too cold or not. So far, we are fine. Let's put the rainwater collected to work. I've actually missed that. So that we can keep that water flowing. So the trader then come by. I hope he comes by tomorrow. Let's hope for that. Everything else is good other than my morale. I guess Boris is gonna go out again tonight. And I just need to improve my house in a way that I can avoid the morale being too down. If I'm gonna have a, an evil playthrough, I need to build something like armchairs and guitars and have the radio so that it boosts up my morale. It would be a good idea to have someone that can boost your morale. I know there's people that can do that, there's characters in here that can do that, but I don't think I have one. Because if I'm gonna play an evil playthrough, I know they're gonna all be sad, and I need to fight that. So let's see, I am hungry and sad. I'm gonna guard the place, Katya is gonna sleep in bed, Boris is gonna scavenge once again. Why are they telling me to put Boris in, into the bed? I mean, he has 17 backpack slots. I want to improve my workshop, that's what I want to do. So, let's prepare. I don't need to bring any tools whatsoever. Because I've done with all the rubble. And I only need the saw blade and I don't have it. The crowbar is not going to do anything over there. I believe. Let's grab all for now and then start filtering what we actually need or not. There's probably good stuff over there. I need to bring not only a saw blade but also a crowbar. Here are some weapon parts. That is good, if we want in the future to make or to repair a pistol. Let's see, let's come over on the left side. There's more stuff. There's more stuff over here, right? No, 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 no. Is this the dude that died? Can I kill him? Dude, I don't have any weapon. Damn it. Can I read the inscription? Let's see. He was the one. He was the one that was there in the ground this guy just picked it up probably is his friend and buried him let's see what will we throw out i could use 
some cigarette ingredients so that I can make in the future cigarettes for Boris. I know he smokes and he probably likes that. And to increase morale, once again, it's a good idea to keep them satisfied with that kind of thing. Tobacco, let's see, what can we throw away for these electric parts? I want to bring them. Let's throw away... If we want to make a cigarettes factory, if you know what I mean, we're gonna need this fertilizer, we're gonna need the quality roll-up to make our own herbs and whatnot. I'm gonna throw away homegrown tobacco. I have two of them. There's one tobacco here, which I think it's better than homegrown tobacco, even if it is just one. I'm gonna give priority to the electric part. Let's see what is written over here. On a fresh grave lies a carefully folded little origami flower and an ID of a man named Meloz. He didn't deserve to become crowd food. Nobody does. Take care of yourself. Dude, you're lucky, alright? You're lucky. Because I am evil in this game, but I, I'm just not carrying a weapon. And I'm not an evil, stupid person. I'm evil, just evil. If I had that weapon, you'd be crying for help right now. Let's leave here some shell casings. Bring some more wood. We're still improving our house. Actually, I have now in the building section the boards up, so I'm gonna need a lot of wood. So let's bring it. Let's bring it. Let's bring these two stacks as well. I'm gonna focus wood, apparently, on this night. Because I want to board up my house. That makes the place much safer. Let's see. I'm gonna leave here. Roll up cigarette. No. Let's bring the cigarettes so that Boris can increase his morale. What can we leave behind? I have just one electric part. All right, let's leave this behind. It's just one. If it was, if it was two, I would probably bring it. But it's just one. Screw it. Unless there's more in the map. This is the struggle with, with this world of mine. And I need all of these components. God lord. All right, let's leave the sugar. I'm gonna leave behind the herbal meds, and I'm gonna bring these parts. Okay, awesome. And I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna cry if I find something useful up in the roof. Because I just cannot carry it. And it's amazing because I'm using Boris, which has a 17 slot backpack. Jump, Boris! Oh! There we go. Beautiful boy. You're doing great. One more part. Awesome. We can stack that over there. And we're done. Probably a lot of you are watching the video right now and thinking, Sparrow, you should trade that with that. You should swap that with that. It all comes down sometimes to personal preference. Personally, I prefer right now to improve my house other than doing other kinds of stuff. Right now, I would prefer something like boarding up the house rather than making a nerves workshop or something of the sort. But you probably have a different priority than me. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. On the next one, we're gonna go for day five, where we might be robbed or not. My name is Asparo Jenny. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you are looking for more, feel free to check these suggestions. As a reminder, if you're looking into buying games, consider using my G2A ref link in the description of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one. And remember, stay above the waters.